What's going on YouTube? I'm Nick the Tutor and this channel is dedicated to improving your SAT, ACT, and AP scores. Today we have an incredible video about extracurricular activities. So many of you on TikTok and YouTube constantly ask me, is this extracurricular activity good? Today I will settle the debate. I'm going to tell you what to do in terms of your extracurricular activities and how to optimize your college applications for 2022 and beyond. One thing you have to understand about extracurricular activities, there is not one best extracurricular activity activity and there is not something that is going to guarantee your admission to any school. So take that out of the equation and let's focus on how you can build a resume of extracurricular activities that will really benefit you. With the drastic increase in the number of students applying to college, you're going to have to stand out and a lot of this will be how you can use extracurricular activities to stand out rather than what extracurricular activities you should be doing. And there's a difference and let me explain, right? Just being in a club is not as good as affecting some kind of change with your club or bringing a new aspect or a new program to your school with your club or achieving some kind of recognition with your club. Just entering is not good enough. One way to really optimize your extracurricular activities is to gain a leadership role. Now, what I'm talking about is being the captain of the soccer team, being the president of student council, something to that effect. Now, look, that's not the end all be all, but it can really help improve the impact of an extracurricular activity because it shows that you've invested time and that other people believe in you. This also shows that you had a level of involvement that warranted a leadership role, which means you were probably pretty involved. It's pretty hard to become the captain of a team or the president without doing anything whatsoever look it's possible that's why this is not you know the end all be all but it can help all right so when I was in high school guys I was the captain of the soccer team I also was on a club team I participated in tournaments I also participated in showcases and other kind of soccer events so I was really 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 dedicated to that part of my application and that did help because you know even though it's athletics I balanced it out with also being a musician I was all county in saxophone and I also was on the math team so, you know, I had a balance, but I really focused most of my time on soccer and I got several achievements. I was all counting in that as well. And that really helped my college application. So you can see how I kind of built that up. Now, today it's a little bit different. I'm going to get to what helps more in 2022 as opposed to 2004, but we'll get into that soon. So the other thing about showing genuine interest is that you can't just do something for one year and expect it to have a big impact. What has a bigger impact in terms of extracurricular activities are things that you've done over a number of years. Now, why is that the case? Well, it shows a commitment, it shows some level of planning, and it shows that you're willing to see things through to the end. It also is going to take some level of creativity to find enough to do for several years pertaining to one activity, right? So you can't just go do the same thing over and over again. You're going to have to be a little bit creative and come up with new ways to investigate your passions. That's something that they're greatly going to appreciate because they're going to see, all right, this student's going to bring that level of creativity and that level of passion for the next next four years of college because they're so committed to what they're doing. They've already been doing it for four years. We believe they're going to do it for another four years and that's what gets you in. I think my argument for the best extracurricular activities centers around the amount of responsibility that you have and the amount of time that you have to invest. If you have a high level of responsibility, that's going to be a better extracurricular activity than something that does not. So for example, if you're involved in a local charity and you're planting trees, if you're one of the members that helped plant a tree, that's not a huge responsibility. You know, if you have 20 people out there digging holes and planting trees, one of them doesn't show up, the whole thing's not going to fall apart. But if you were the manager of that extracurricular activity, you were the person who put it together, you were the person who ordered the trees, you were the person who figured out who's going to work where, then your level of responsibility is much higher and the value of that activity is much greater. Do not get caught up in what other people are doing. Major point, guys, do not worry about what others are doing. If everyone's going to Costa Rica to hand out food for the summer, that's probably something that you should not do. You know what that sounds like? A vacation, not an extracurricular activity. Also, another reason to not get caught up in what everyone else is doing is that if everyone in your school is doing one activity and you also do it, that doesn't mean that it's bad, but it just doesn't stand out, right? Because you're all just doing the same thing. So when colleges are evaluating, you know, Nick versus Tom versus Sally, and they all have the same charitable activities, extracurricular activities, they can't really make a distinction, right? There's not like one that's better than the other. The big debate in extracurricular 
activities is well-rounded versus standing out. I'll settle it right now. Standing out is much better than being well-rounded. I know the tendency is to look towards, okay, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of each activity. That's kind of an old strategy. That was much better back in the day. Now colleges are looking for experts. They're looking for people that have dedicated their time to one area and people who really stand out will stand out more by being super exceptional in one area than pretty good in all areas, right? At the end of the day, guys, the most important thing is to be yourself and follow your passions. Don't do what other people do because you think it's good for your college application. That's the perfect way to have a very generic and very basic college application to really stand out, take the things you love and do them as much as possible. I'm out. Peace.